Welcome to Power Concepts. In this video, we will look at the filter feature in Excel 2010, which can quickly create great reports. In this spreadsheet, we can see various types of data. Names, dates, departments, and some numbers, such as grades and salary. Using filters, we can easily turn this into a more specific set of data, say for just one department or just for those in a certain grade. First, let's apply our filters. Make sure your active cell is within your data. I'll just click here on any name. Next, on the data ribbon, in the sort and filter group, click on the filter button. You should see these small drop-down arrows appear in the heading row. This means the filter feature has been turned on. Now you can pick whatever it is you'd like to filter for. Let's say I just need to see the sales department. Click on the drop down for the department column. You can see down here that Excel has picked out all the unique items in that column. Click the checkbox next to select all to clear all the check marks. Now simply click on the item you want. For me, I'll click on sales and then OK. Now my spreadsheet shows only the sales department. You can see that a spreadsheet has been filtered by looking for the filter symbol on any of those drop down arrows in the heading row. Also, note how the row numbers on the left are no longer in order and they're blue. Now let's say we need to get all of our data back and remove or clear our filter. Up on the data ribbon in the sort and filter group, right beside that filter button, use the clear button to return to all of your data. Next, we'll apply more than one filter. First, click in the drop down for department. Clear all those check marks. And this time, let's select production, then OK. Now, let's do our second filter. Click on the drop down for grade. Clear all the check marks here and select two. You can see how we could continue to refine our data to get whatever specific information we need. At this point, you may need to clear the filter from one column, but not everything. In that case, the clear button up on the data ribbon will not work for us. If we need to see all those employees in grade two, not just the production department, head over to the drop down for department. And partway down, select the option here, Clear Filter from Department. Finally, let's say we need to filter our data, but in a much less specific way. I'm going to use the Clear button to return to my full data set. Sometimes we need information, but the criteria is a little more vague. Imagine you want to find a certain employee, but all you know is that that employee's first name begins with the letter J. Instead of trying to search for everyone whose name may begin with J, let Excel do the searching for you. Click on the drop down for first name. Where you see the word search, click and then type the letter you need. In my case, J. Then click OK. Now you have a report for all the employees whose names begin with J. The filter feature can be incredibly useful. Be sure to try it out on your Excel spreadsheets to quickly and easily create all the reports you need. Thanks for checking out this Power Concepts video on filtering in Excel. Be sure to check out our website for more videos on filters as well as other great topics. Have a great day.